Now, weather with your First Coast News storm experts, powered by AC Designs. Okay, I learned something there. As a native Texan, I didn't grow up around a lot of hockey, yeah. although we did have the Dallas Stars, but I just like the fights in hockey, I'll be honest. That's, that's what we all seem to understand, <laughs> right? right? Sooner or later, once you get upset, you take off the gloves and start fighting. Pretty much. So thanks, guys. That was awesome. Right. Let's uh, take a look at the weather. <laughs> unhockey like weather here, that is for sure. Thank goodness we have an indoor rank, rank that is. Uh, these temperatures rank as uh, above average for this time of the year. And although typically in February, especially the latter half of February, we start to see days in the 70s and near 80. But to have a persistent pattern, especially one that I think is going to last almost to the end of the month, pretty incredible. Nonetheless, that's the general theme. But as I mentioned, we have to deal with the fog. The sea fog is in. We'll continue to spread away from the sea. That is westward through the overnight hours. Going to be with us in the morning. But... For those of you with President's Day plans in which you want warm weather, we're going to have it during the afternoon. In fact, outside of the relatively chilly near sea surface temperatures, uh, a nearly tropical type week on the way. We'll break it down for you, but for now, again, let's deal with the fog. Uh, notice not a lot of zeros, so that means right on the fringes of dense fog. And what I mean by that is visibility's getting down to about a quarter of a mile. I can tell you out on the islands, we have had dense fog off and on over inland locations. Uh, and then as we go through the morning hours, gradually from the southeast to the northwest, visibilities will be improved for the day. However, if you look closely here, and I think this computer model handles things pretty well, this paints the front that came down to us late today with the fog and is lifted to the north. So by about dawn, uh, we're going to see the front with the showers lifting to the north. But if you look right along the beach, there are some indications some sea fog will linger, probably longest uh, from Fernandina North versus St. Augustine on to the south. Winds east to northeasterly, they'll become southeasterly. Surfers, we've pretty much lost that swell. Maybe some one foot lines out there. High tide at 10 in the morning, that means lots of beach during the afternoon. If you want to reach the beach, again, highs right on the sand near 70. Officially, I'm looking for 78, but for those of you out to the uh, well west, let's say of Highway 17, I think again tomorrow you're going to see 80 degrees. So there's the brief visit we had from the front. Now it's going to lift to the north, and we may not see another cool front approaching the first coast until the last couple of days of the month. So here we go. Over the next seven days, all seven days, highs in the 70s to near 80 and maybe heading toward the middle 80s as we head toward the weekend. With this tropical flow off the ocean, can't roll out outside of the sea fog and maybe some mist. Can't roll out maybe some isolated inland showers, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon. But basically, well, the song remains the same. Anthony? 